The Daily Stoic, July 9th. The Philosopher King. Okay, what are we talking about? For I believe a good king is from the outset and by necessity a philosopher. And the philosopher is from the outset a kingly person. Masonius Rufus Lectures. The Israeli general Herzl Halevi believes that philosophy is essential in his role as a leader and warrior. People used to tell me that business administration is for the practical life and philosophy is for the spirit, he said. Through the years, I found it is exactly the opposite. I use philosophy much more practically. War and leadership offer an unending seri series of ethical decisions that require priorities, balance, and clarity. That's what philosophy helps with. Plato knew this when he imagined a utopia ruled by a philosopher king. Either philosophers should become kings, he said in the Republic, or those now called kings should truly and sufficiently undertake philosophy. Marcus Aurelius was quite literally the philosopher king. What does that have to do with you? There are fewer things these days, or there are fewer kings these days, but we're all leaders in one way or another, of families, of companies, of a team, of an audience, of a group of friends, of ourselves. It's the study of philosophy that cultivates our reason and ethics so that we can do our job well. We can't just wing it. Too many people are counting us to, on us to do it right. So philosophy being reasonable, making good choices. Gotta own that.